Today, we're going to be checking out a brand new text to image generation tool from Luma Labs called Dream Machine. Now, most of you guys may have seen Sora from OpenAI earlier, but that is a waitlisted app, whereas this one is available to us to use today, right now, for free. So let's dive in, take a look at what Dream Machine can do and see whether or not this is actually something that's going to be useful to us in her workflow. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. So the really cool thing about Dream Machine from Luma Labs is that it creates high quality videos from text and images. So you not only can put in a prompt, but you can feed it an image as well as a prompt. What's also impressive is that it runs online. So we don't need any super powerful computers. All you have to do is sign up on the website and you instantly get access to running this. Luma Labs boasts that this is a very fast generator, but I can say from previous experience that this will run a little bit slower, mostly because so many people are flooding the servers right now. I was able to get some generations out in as quick as a few minutes. However, some people that I saw on Reddit were seeing wait times of a few hours. So really mixed bag when it comes to your experience. But so far, all my experiences have been pretty great. Now, as you can see from some of the examples that they show, it is really, really great and really powerful. So you can see this shot of this person with the gun that looks awesome, as well as this polar bear. However, you can notice some sort of weirdness happening here with this contemporary, almost modern art piece with these people wearing these uh, cloths on their head. I'm not, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Another thing that they boast is the ability to have consistent characters. I haven't seen this operate that well with some of the generations that I did, but who knows, maybe I just was not using this as well. These generations that look amazing, especially this goblin chef in the corner. Another really cool thing is that it does handle camera movements pretty well. I was able to describe a, a multitude of different scenarios and it was able to hit things spot on. Now it does tell you some of the current limitations such as it morphing sometimes the scenes. Movement may be a little bit awkward as you can see this dog is not actually running through the scene. Then also text is going to come out very wonky. So it's not spelling Luma properly here. I'm sure that it was spelled properly in the prompt. And then I don't know what Janice means. That's probably just some jankiness going on. <laughs> We're going to be leaving a link down in that description box so you can check this out. All you have to do is sign up and you get 30 generations for free. But before you do that, I'm going to use up some of my generations so you can see just what this AI is capable of doing, where it excels and where it kind of gets things not looking good. So here you're going to see this is the prompt area, which is very simple. And you actually get this little generator, which will pop in whatever text randomly that will create some sort of scene. So if I close this out, you can see it'll create a different scene such as a teddy bear and sunglasses, or we can keep hitting this refresh button to come up with different ones as well. These are some of the generations that I did earlier while we're waiting for these other ones to finish up. So the first one that we did was a man falling through the sky while wearing a reflective jacket and jeans. He reaches for a glowing orb that is also falling through the sky. In the distance, a rocket explodes behind him, cargo crates falling, attached to ropes and flames and clouds rippling through the scene. I would say this did not get this prompt well, and I was really trying to push it to its limits by having a very lengthy prompt with so many details and physics and interactions going on. What's pretty interesting, though, is that you can see this rocket. It's not fully taking off in the background, but some of the fire effects looks kind of cool. We do have this character that's morphing through these different shots and yeah, a, a lot of wonkiness going on here. The next shot, though, that I gave it was a low angle shot of a dusty pickup truck filled with medieval soldiers driving through a large wooden gate with two guards. Now, it didn't keep the two guards, but I did like that it was able to have the pickup truck, the dustiness, it driving through the scene, even though some of the physics gets weird towards the end here. We have these medieval soldiers as well, which is a really nice touch. So I got to give it probably a six out of 10 on this one. The next one that we gave it was a first person view of a man running through a thick, dusty sandstorm with black skeletons popping out from the ground as explosions and lightning strikes around him. This one was also a super challenging prompt with a lot of details in it. But I got to say, even though it did not get this prompt entirely perfect, this created a really interesting and awesome scene with these really amazing looking looking explosions happening, a lot of high energy. And we even have these awesome lightning strikes happening randomly. And it is a very chaotic, hectic scene. So I got to give this one probably a six out of 10. Next up, we 
tried this again with the second generation just to see what would pop out. And again, this does not adhere fully to it, but it did create this interesting dusty lightning skeleton creature here that I'm not really sure what's going on. So I, I got to give the second attempt at this one a four out of 10. Next up here, we have a cinematic shot of Atlantis underwater, futuristic buildings, beautiful colors, vibrant sea life and people living underwater. I don't think this fully captured what I would have imagined an underwater city of Atlantis to look like, but we do have some interesting details such as you can see here, little water reflections or ripples on the top. And also we have these green looking lily pads and seaweed structures with people walking around. And this one, I gotta say, gets probably a solid five out of 10 here. Next up, we have a wide shot of a man painting a self portrait in an art gallery. It has a man, it has a painting easel, it has the art gallery, but the movement, the interactions of the physics does not look good at all. So this one is actually gonna be a two out of 10 here because it did not hit all of those marks. Next up, we have a meteor crashing into earth, large explosions and dusty impacts. This one I thought was impressive. It looks very crazy, very awesome. Some of the physics gets wonky here. You can't actually see a meteor, but we do get a lot of these awesome explosions. So this one, I gotta say, gets a solid seven out of 10. And then last up here, we have a fast first person view drone fly through of a European castle, beginning with an aerial view of towering stone walls and turrets then gliding through an open window into grand interior halls. This one is probably the most impressive for its adherence to the prompt. It does capture the fly through the drone movement, it beginning with a scene that shows the castle with the towering stone walls and then specifically the interior of the castle. So I think this one was really amazing. Some wonkiness happens here and there, but overall I think this gets a well-deserved 9 out of 10. Almost perfect, almost there. Great job, Luma Labs. Hopefully based off of those generations, you can get a better view as to what this AI is capable of. You are not gonna get final Hollywood-esque shots from this. However, you probably will get something kind of fun and interesting to play around with. So far, I'm gonna be having fun messing with this and I think I might even wanna see how some of this gets plugged into After Effects for some additional compositing. Already, I love that this AI has got my mind working and the creative juice is flowing. So if you enjoy checking this out, I highly recommend you guys check out Pika Art. They're also another generator for videos. We talked about them in this video and we dived into what you can expect. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you on the next one. All right, peace.